What's up everyone, good afternoon, morning, or evening, wherever time you may be watching. I'm Joe the Film Bro, and welcome to my review for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Coming off the success of the last Planet of the Apes trilogy following Caesar and his apes, we've now skipped forward a few generations following whole new characters with a whole new story. And I did have to remind myself of that a lot because I love the Planet of the Apes prequel trilogy with Caesar. They're so good, guys. They're such great movies. So going into this, I had to tell myself, okay, new characters, new story, maybe a different tone. We even have a new director this time around. So I had to remind myself of that a lot. And I'm really glad I did because I really enjoyed this movie, guys. First and foremost, let's get this out of the way because everyone agrees with it. The cinematography and the visuals are gorgeous. This movie is so beautiful to look at, guys. You know, I could very well see this movie getting an Oscar nomination for Best Cinematography. I think it definitely has earned that. And once again, the motion capture effects with the apes is so impressive. These apes still look so real. I don't know how they do this, but it looks so good. There are a few times where you could tell that it was visual effects, but it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. You are willing to overlook it. It's still very impressive. So our main character this time around is an ape named Noah. His tribe has been taken captive by another group of apes, so it's up to him to try and rescue them. I tell you, Noah is the perfect protagonist for what will inevitably be a new trilogy. They give him this coming-of-age narrative that fits so well into this world. The way he has to venture out and the way he experiences all these different apes with different philosophies and moral grounds, it's so interesting to watch. And one of the characters who challenges Noah on his journey is Raka, an ape who actually knows about Caesar, follows his teachings from the previous trilogy, and actually has a great moral ground. And then there's our main villain of the movie, Proximus Caesar. A part of me wishes that he was introduced earlier on in the movie, but I do understand why they waited until like the second half to introduce him. I mean, the way that he takes Caesar's teachings and twists them to fit his own narrative, I mean, I have no trouble believing that something like this would happen in this world. The character that intrigues me the most in this movie is our main human character, May. Her dynamic with Noah, it leaves you walking out of the movie with more questions than answers, and I really like that. There's a lot of setting up that goes on in this movie, and I really want to see where it all goes, but I especially want to see what happens with these two. I really want to see this trilogy continued. There is a lot to be desired here, my friends. Thanks for watching, you guys. Be sure to leave all thoughts, questions, or hate mail in the comments. Show the like button so love by smashing it. And if you like the content I put out there, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.